right, Chinese New Year, it starts on the 23rd of this month, and this year it is the Year of the Dragon. So we are back in the kitchen right now and getting into the spirit of the Chinese New Year. It's always great to celebrate with food and libations, and you guys, you really do it up nicely there that's at right. Lee and Louise. That's right. We do everything nicely. You do, and that's why we call you back, because you're yeah. so much fun. <laughs> okay, so of course we're putting another spin on things, because Ling and Louie, they were totally different people, but they've combined, they were in love. Correct. So what, it, what are we making? What's it normally, uh, and how are we, we making it different? We are making char soup pork tenderloin, uh, okay. which isn't necessarily served during the Chinese New Year, but it is Louie's favorite traditional Chinese dish. So every Chinese New Year, uh, Ling rolls it out, that way uh, you can... She can make Louie happy again. Well, and they're so. in love, you know, so yeah. it's a beautiful love story. Um, and people can find out more on your website. Right. Right? It's yep. so beautiful. Okay, so let's get started. What's, right. what's so why is this that is so a, pink? This is a char siu pork. Uh, it's a marinated pork. Uh, we use pork tenderloin, so it's nice and nice and tender and moist. Uh, and we marinate it. Uh, what makes it red is uh, red food coloring. Uh, back in the day, back in ancient times, it used to be red tofu oh. that they used to color it. Uh, but there's uh, some shaoxing, which is a rice wine hoisin sauce, garlic, brown sugar, all sorts of good stuff to give it a really nice flavor. So we've seared it off. Uh, we're slicing it up, and we're going to finish cooking it here. Okay. Uh, so we got a nice hot wok, some oil again, and we're going to just take these pieces in. Because we want to, you've already seared it though, but now right. you want to, because you're adding a lot of stuff to it in the wok? Yeah. Well, or just cooking it through? We just want to cook it through. Yeah, that's know. always a good I mean, thing, right, with pork? If this was tuna, that would be perfect, but... Uh, since we're dealing with pork Let's here, talk we want to cook some of the a other more. the other dishes that you guys have over there. Okay. I mean, you really have something for everyone. I my favorite is the miso soup mm -hmm. with the coconut shrimp. Yeah, yeah, and the coconut shrimp we just put back on the menu. We we, we took it we off took for it a little off. bit for oh. just a little bit. Okay. But uh, we put it back on to do to customer demand. Okay. So. And then you have this mango chicken. You the mango that? chicken is excellent. Yes. Okay. Yep. I like that sweet stuff. In case you haven't figured it yeah. out, <laughs> I like the sweet little sweet little spicy kind of like you, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly that works. like me. Stephanie's the spicy on the sweet. Okay. <laughs> so, but uh, for Chinese New Year, we also have a, a couple great dishes. Uh, we have uh, some of them down here. We have uh, uh, lucky noodles here. Noodles represent longevity. They really do. Yep. Okay. So uh, we're serving a, a wonderful dish with uh, it's fried noodles with chicken, shrimp, and fillet. Uh, and then we also have our crispy Asian sea bass. Mm. It's marinated in yellow curry, served over Szechuan vegetables. We serve it crispy. Uh, tradition is to serve a whole fish. Uh, we make, once again, we're kind of combining east and west. We've uh, made it simple and just done the fillets there. So. And then this is what we made uh, yep. during our last segment. Correct. Okay, so we got a nice, uh, nice sear here. We got it cooked through. So we're going to kind of set this off to the side, and then we're going to start cooking some asparagus. Okay. Everyone loves asparagus. Now, um, again, Chinese New Year starts on the 23rd, but mm -hmm. you guys are really kicking it up a notch starting today, right? Yeah, starting today. Okay. You can come in, you can get our Feast of Fortune menu and our Lucky Libations. And uh, like you said, later we'll talk about uh, all the good fortune that you can get from uh, eating off of the menu. So we have uh, some asparagus here. We'll just throw it in. Nice hot wok. <clears throat> and kind of cook it up. And we're going to add... It's kind of a traditional stir-fry uh, sauce. Is that the stir -fry sauce you sauce. added to the other uh, This one's a little bit different. It's not as sweet. Uh, not as spicy, kind of just a, a traditional uh, like stir fry a sauce. Or, okay. Yeah, you can use hoisin. Uh, we can, you know, soy sauce, ginger, and garlic together yeah, works perfectly. Great combination. Um, well, while you're finishing this up, here's a little piece of information. I was asking him where you get the gong. Uh huh. The gong that you guys have, because yep. I would love to get a gong. When dinner's ready, you just gong. Right? Yeah, the, your kids are outside. They they There's know that dinner's the ready because the gong goes off. Yep. There is actually a website called. Gongs Unlimited. Gongs Unlimited. That, that is, and that's all they sell is gongs. That's right. And that is, that is a shameless <laughs> plug, so we expect a, a discount oh, next no, time we I order. Just, so. I mean, there's something for everyone <laughs> out there. Um, well, too, I'm going to let you finish this okay. up. And again, we will have um, the information on our website um, and the, uh, the actually the directions, too, so you guys uh -huh. can make it as well. Perfect. Okay. What do we make when we come back? Cocktails. Cocktails, lucky Cocktails. libations. Lucky libations. A, a, lin, a lemon lynchy thing. Uh, we got a, a lychee drop, which lychee. is kind of a twist on a a, uh, a lemon drop with okay. some lychee flavoring. We have our ginger peach bourbon tea, which is an inf with uh, infused bourbon. Okay, can I gong? Can I just you get sure can. segment yep. gong? The power. I love it. We'll be back. <laughs>